Well, it's cool that I, I guess it's nice that you do have that one sustainable source of income. Um, one of my, well, that's not a gripe, but one of the most unfortunate things that I see happening is great projects that don't grow because of lack of funding, yeah. which is a very common issue in the, the open source world. Absolutely, it is. And it, there's just, there's no easy way for a business model unless right. you rely on donations, but typically donations aren't enough. Right. For someone to make a living or to have them especially grow while making a living. True. So it's cool that you do finally have that sustainable income source. And now you're starting to have the opportunity to create all these different projects. Like yeah. Catalyx OS, um, the privacy research you're doing, the stuff with the kids, everything else. I mean, that's just that's just incredible. I think that's kind of the dream. And that's kind of why I feel like I'm living the dream sometimes too. Because mm -hmm. this is I love doing this. And I get to do it full time. And now we sure. have we have two employees, and the only reason this is possible is because I just happen to be in a lucky position where we're making money off of this. Yeah. But yeah. if that wasn't there, I wouldn't be able to be doing this all day every day. Sure. And that makes me really sad to think about that. That is the reality for almost everybody. I think it's sure. kind of rare to have a scenario where not only do you have that sustainable income source, but you also still have the control to do what you want. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can obviously have a Mozilla situation, though mm -hmm. th I, I wouldn't want a Mozilla situation because I don't want 90% of what I do to be dictated by a larger corporation. Right. Um, so yeah, that, that's just congrats to you for having that. I, I think that that's, it's awesome and I think a lot of people wish they had it. But I think it's also good inspiration for people who want to do that. I, I think yeah. it's, it's possible. It does, it does make the Institute kind of a unicorn within the world of open source organizations and privacy organizations in that uh, <clears throat> I watched, you know, other organizations, the ones that don't, the ones that just ask people, if you like what we're doing, give us money, uh, struggle. And they're very vulnerable to like changes in the economy, recessions, things like that. Um, both and and also for-profit businesses. I mean, where I live in in New York, uh, all, like all the small businesses are drying up. Like they're almost like half of them have to be gone now. Um, it's a super tough time. And if we were reliant on grants, you know, the grant the grant stuff comes and goes. Um, there is a thing called the Open Tech Fund. I don't know if you ever heard of them, but they fund, they have historically funded Tor and Signal and a whole bunch of projects that you know and probably love. Um, but they they get their funding from the U.S. government in in a allocation from Congress every year, and their funding basically dried up, and so a lot of projects are like they were totally dependent on this one single source of income, and now they're left in a lurch, uh, really suddenly with with no warning. Um, so, uh, we're working on diversifying our funding sources actually, because we don't want to be totally dependent on, on the hotspot membership benefit thing as a, as a draw. We're trying to figure out different ways that we can have different ways of giving, of giving benefit to people and, and making people's lives better, but also engaging with them enough that they want to donate and support our work. So like sustainability is, is sort of like our mission, I think for 2021, figuring out how to diversify. Thanks for watching this short clip of the wonderful interview I did with Nicholas. There are other short clips you can find if a certain topic interests you, or the entire almost two hours is its own video as well, which I highly recommend you watch every minute of it. It is fantastic. It's also in podcast format under our surveillance report. Links for everything are below. I highly recommend checking them out if you enjoyed this clip. See you all next time, and thanks for watching.